on something very different and unique, escargot. So this is the common snail imported from Europe and this is the breeding farm and we're going to be harvesting some snails and presenting, cooking them in a couple of different ways. Okay, so these are full, full grown snails and this is what we call a breeding room. So the cycle starts here and these snails breed and then they come and they lay eggs and you can see the clusters of eggs that have been laid. Now the breeding room is kept at a certain temperature with a high moisture content to keep the snails active. There's an electric slight voltage that goes around to stop the snails from crawling over to keep them in the pens. They get fed here. This is where the breeding takes place. This room is where the eggs can then get transferred to. And they get kept here for hatching. There's a certain temperature in this room. And you can see the eggs and you can see all the baby snails. Once they've hatched out the eggs, how they crawl up. And then the next stage from here is they get taken, they get fed, and then they get released into the vineyard. We probably have between 60 and 80,000 young snails in here that will grow to maturity. So they free range, they roam wild, and they eat and they fill themselves up. They're eating special rape, special spinach leaves, all a healthy diet. They do get substitutionally fed as well with a bit of maize and flour in between. And this is where they grow up. Okay, we found snails. These are snails in the wild here that are eating and resting because it is winter. These snails are imported from Greece. Started off with 20,000 snails. And that was about seven months ago. And there's almost a million snails by now. In this one growing room alone, there's about 80,000. Okay, we've harvested some snails and there's a few more on their way and we'll shortly be going into the kitchen and we'll show you how to prepare them in different styles. Okay, very excited. We finally reached the stage of arriving in the kitchen. So this is where I'm going to hand over to my good friend, celebrity chef, Jason Whitehead. Hey, how are you? How are you? Good, how are you? Good. Have fun. Cool, let's get cracking. Hi, my name is Chef Jason Whitehead. I'm from Cape Town in beautiful South Africa. And today we are in the Mon Reed Wine Estate out in Stellenbosch, where Martin has started to start growing snails. He's imported them from Greece, and at the moment they are all over the farm. And they are beautiful and lush. You can see from these snails over here, these are just the shells. So I made a whole batch yesterday. It take, the whole process takes about an hour and a half. Um, you got to purge them first and then they get uh, put into water with lots of salt and lots of vinegar to help get rid of the sliminess. And then they are gently cooked in a stock for about an hour and a half until they're nice and tender. You can then vacuum pack them or you could cook them immediately in a garlic sauce or put them in a batch mold, whichever you prefer. But today we've got creative and we've made two different types of snails. The first one is over here, snails with a puff pastry case and it's topped with garlic and herb butter. Then the second dish we're going to demo for you is going to be a, it's called a gyoza. So it's a Chinese dumpling, it's wrapped in rice paper and inside I've made a truffled mashed potato and we put some of the snails inside, wrap them up and then you pan fry them until they're nice and golden brown and put some water in just to steam and cook it through. I've got a combination of sesame and truffle oil. That sounds weird but you've got to give it a try the taste is amazing. And then just use some kitchen paper and just smear it around the pan. You don't want to deep fry them, you just want to get some color on it. And then you take your gyozas and you pop them in. You can do these from frozen or from fresh. And get creative. Here's another way of folding it. It's a little parcel. Give them a little bit of a push down onto the hot pan. And this is a traditional way of folding gyoza. Okay, try not to overcrowd the pan because the pastry will stick to each other. Once you've got it sizzling, you pour over some water. And then cover your pan. And essentially what that's doing is you're gonna steam the rest of the pastry. You give that about a minute and then take it off and wait for all the water to evaporate and get a nice caramelization on the pastry so it's nice and brown and crispy at the bottom and nice and soft and luxurious at the top. Ok, 
Okay, so what you're looking for is a bit of char on the pastry like that. So it's going to be nice and crispy on the one side and it's nice and soft on the other side. Okay, so that's it. Get a nice char on your wontons and we serve it with a dipping sauce. So this one's done with soy sauce, chili, ginger, garlic and a bit of sesame oil. We're going to call Martin, who's the owner of the farm. He's going to come be my guinea pig and try these. Do you want to come on over, Martin? Yes, definitely. So you just take your wonton and you want to stick okay. it in the sauce, right. non-crispy side down. Okay. Yo. There you go. Snails mm. in two unusual ways instead of the usual garlic This is butter. really nice. Actually. Yo, this is magnificent. Mm. Glad you like it. Mm. Everybody else want to come tuck in? Okay hey guys, there's two different ways of preparing snails. I hope you enjoyed it. Until next time, keep an eye on the social medias for the Mon Reef Snail Farm product which will be coming to you shortly. Cheers, till next time. <laughs>